Kravitz article. Yes. On having it on the Warren article, all mm -hmm. non-union raises. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that legally binding? Has Mark looked into that? He has. It violates RSA 37 colon 6. Okay. Do you want to just briefly The say statute what that is? provides that there shall be an appropriation for money to be spent. Every year the selectmen uh, make that appropriation for all non-union employees and it goes into an, an account held by the finance department. Uh, it is approved as part of the budget and is approved during the public hearings by the budget committee. The selectmen also approve it during their hearings. Uh, that's where the money comes from to pay the non-union employees. Yeah. The statute, although we don't do it this way in, in Hampton, the statute specifically says that the town manager is the only person that can approve raises or salaries for town employees. <laughs> and what I do is I ask the selectmen <laughs> to do that function because I think that's the way the system should function. Is this the, we go through the appropriation phase, there's money available, and the selectmen make a decision on how much those raises will be. Uh, after they have uh, thought, thought through the process and seen how many employees there are, we actually provide a flow chart of where the money is and how it could be expended in different, different, different ways. And the board has opted to do that. That's how we operate the system, but the statute specifically does not allow what's in that warrant article. Okay, so it does not, so that is a non-binding warrant article. It's an advisory warrant article. Advisory warrant article, okay.